Welcome to Passion Travel. Join us as we explore fascinating destinations, uncover hidden gems, and embark on unforgettable journeys. Subscribe now and ignite your passion for travel. Fish and Chips with Mushy Peas, a quintessential Irish dish served with golden crispy battered fish, chunky fries, and creamy mushy peas for a classic comfort meal. To prepare fish and chips, you'll need the following ingredients. For the fish, white fish fillets, such as cod, haddock, or pollock, about 4 fillets, 6 us slash 170 g each. Flour, for dredging the fish, around 1 cup. Cornstarch, 1 tablespoon, optional, helps make the batter crispy. Baking powder, 1 teaspoon, helps to make the batter light and airy. Salt, to taste, usually about 1 half teaspoon. Pepper, to taste, about 1 half teaspoon. Beer, or sparkling water for a non-alcoholic version, around 1 cup, adds lightness to the batter. Egg, 1 large, optional, for a richer batter. Oil, for deep frying, vegetable oil or sunflower oil works best. For the chips, fries. Potatoes, for large potatoes, russet or maris piper potatoes are ideal for chips. Salt, to taste. Oil, for frying, vegetable oil, sunflower oil, or peanut oil. For serving, optional. Malt vinegar, for drizzling. Tartar sauce, for dipping. Lemon wedges, for squeezing over the fish. Peas, mushy peas are often served as a side dish, optional. These ingredients will make a traditional fish and chips meal, with crispy battered fish and golden, crunchy fries. Bangers and mash with onion gravy, succulent sausages, typically made from Irish pork or beef, served with creamy mashed potatoes and smothered in rich onion gravy, a true Irish comfort food. To prepare bangers and mash with onion gravy, you'll need the following ingredients. For the bangers, sausages. Sausages, 4 to 6, traditional Irish or British sausages, such as pork, Cumberland, or bangers, work best. Oil, 1 tablespoon, for frying. For the mash, mashed potatoes. Potatoes, for large, Yukon gold or russet potatoes are ideal. Butter, 4 tablespoons, or more, depending on preference. Milk, 1 half to 1 cup, use whole milk or cream for a richer mash. Salt, to taste. Black pepper, to taste. Chives, 2 tablespoons, chopped, optional, for garnish. For the onion gravy. Onions, 2 large, thinly sliced, yellow onions or red onions work best. Butter, 2 tablespoons. Flour, 2 tablespoons, for thickening the gravy. Beef or vegetable stock, 2 cups, or use a mix of water and stock cubes. Worcestershire sauce, 1 tablespoon, adds richness. Salt, to taste. Black pepper, to taste. Fresh thyme, 1 sprig, optional, for flavor. Brown sugar, 1 teaspoon, optional, to balance the onion sweetness. For garnish, optional. Fresh parsley, chopped, for sprinkling on top of the dish. Method overview. Cook the sausages. Brown the sausages in a pan with a little oil until cooked through and golden on all sides. Prepare the mashed potatoes, boil the potatoes until tender, then mash them with butter, milk, salt, and pepper until smooth and creamy. Make the onion gravy, saute the onions in butter until softened and caramelized, then add flour to thicken. Slowly add stock, Worcestershire sauce, and seasonings, and simmer until the gravy thickens. Serve, plate the mashed potatoes, top with sausages, and pour the rich onion gravy over everything. Garnish with chives or parsley, if desired. Bangers and mash with onion gravy is a beloved, comforting British and Irish dish, perfect for a satisfying meal. The sausages, creamy mash, and rich, savory gravy come together to create a dish full of flavor and heartiness. Burger with local beef and cheese, a juicy, freshly grilled beef patty made with locally sourced meat, topped with melting cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and house-made sauces in a soft bun. To prepare a burger with local beef and cheese, you'll need the following ingredients. For the burger patties. Local beef, ground, 1 pound, for 50 g, g 
Choose grass-fed beef for a richer flavor, or a blend of chuck and sirloin for juiciness. Salt, 1 teaspoon, for seasoning. Black pepper, 1 half teaspoon, freshly ground. Garlic powder, 1 half teaspoon, optional, for added flavor. Onion powder, 1 half teaspoon, optional, for extra seasoning. Worcestershire sauce, 1 tablespoon, optional, for added depth of flavor. For the burger toppings. Cheese, for slices, cheddar is classic, but you can also use local varieties like Irish red cheddar, smoked gouda, or a creamy blue cheese for variation. Burger buns, for soft, toasted, brioche buns or traditional sesame seed buns work well. Lettuce, four leaves, romaine, butterhead, or iceberg. Tomato, one large, sliced, fresh and ripe. Red onion, one small, thinly sliced, optional, for added crunch and flavor. Pickles, four to six slices, optional, for tanginess. Ketchup, to taste. Mustard, to taste, Dijon or yellow, depending on preference. Mayonnaise, to taste, optional, for creaminess. For the optional extras. Bacon, for slices, cooked crispy, optional for an added savory crunch. Avocado, one ripe, sliced, optional, for creaminess. Fried egg, one egg, optional, for a decadent addition. Caramelized onions, one small onion, optional, for sweetness and depth of flavor. Method Overview Prepare the burger patties. In a bowl, gently mix the ground beef with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and Worcestershire sauce, if using. Shape the mixture into four even patties, about three-quarters inch thick. Press a small dimple in the center of each patty with your thumb, to prevent it from puffing up while cooking. Cook the patties. Heat a grill or skillet over medium-high heat. Cook the patties for four to five minutes on each side, for medium doneness, or longer if you prefer them well done. In the last minute of cooking, place a slice of cheese on each patty, and cover with a lid, to melt the cheese. Toast the buns. While the patties are cooking, lightly butter the insides of the burger buns and toast them on the grill or in a skillet until golden brown. Assemble the burger. On the bottom half of each toasted bun, place a leaf of lettuce. Add the cooked patty with melted cheese, followed by slices of tomato, onion, pickles, and any optional toppings like bacon, avocado, or a fried egg. Top the burger. Spread ketchup, mustard, or mayonnaise on the top bun, then place it on top of the assembled burger. Serve. Serve immediately with your choice of sides like french fries, coleslaw, or a simple salad. Optional side suggestions. French fries or sweet potato fries. Coleslaw, for a creamy, crunchy contrast. Onion rings, for an extra crispy bite. A burger with local beef and cheese is a deliciously simple yet satisfying dish, highlighting the rich flavor of local beef and the gooey, melty cheese. The combination of fresh toppings and your choice of condiments makes this a versatile, crowd-pleasing meal. Falafel wrap with tahini sauce, golden, crispy falafel made from chickpeas and spices, wrapped in warm pita bread with fresh veggies and drizzled with creamy tahini sauce. To prepare a falafel wrap with tahini sauce, you'll need the following ingredients. For the falafel. Canned chickpeas, 1 can, about 15 oz slash 425 g, or dried chickpeas, 1 cup, soaked overnight. Onion, 1 small, chopped. Garlic cloves, 2, minced. Fresh parsley, half a cup, chopped. Fresh cilantro, half a cup, chopped. Ground cumin, 1 teaspoon. Ground coriander, 1 teaspoon. Ground turmeric, 1 half teaspoon, optional, for extra color and flavor. Ground black pepper, 1 half teaspoon. Salt, 1 teaspoon, or to taste. Baking soda, 1 half teaspoon. Flour, 2 to 3 tablespoons, use chickpea flour, for gluten-free or all-purpose flour. Lemon juice, 1 tablespoon. Olive oil, for frying. For the tahini sauce. Tahini, half a cup, sesame paste. Lemon juice, 2 tablespoons. Garlic, 1 clove, minced. Water, 
3 to 4 tablespoons, adjust to desired sauce thickness. Olive oil, 1 tablespoon. Salt, to taste. Cayenne pepper, a pinch, optional, for a bit of heat. Fresh parsley, chopped, optional, for garnish. For the wrap. Large whole wheat or plain wraps, 4 to 6, or pita bread if you prefer. Fresh vegetables, for filling. Cucumber, 1, thinly sliced. Tomato, 1 to 2, sliced. Red onion, 1 half, thinly sliced. Lettuce, a handful, e.g., romaine or mixed greens. Pickled vegetables, optional, like pickled turnips or cucumbers, for extra crunch. Optional garnishes. Fresh herbs, cilantro or parsley, for topping. Chili flakes or sriracha, for an extra kick, optional. Method overview. Make the falafel mixture. If using dried chickpeas, rinse and soak them overnight. Drain and set aside. In a food processor, combine the chickpeas, chopped onion, garlic, parsley, cilantro, cumin, coriander, turmeric, black pepper, salt, and baking soda. Pulse until the mixture is finely ground but not mushy. Add the flour and lemon juice, then pulse again until the dough sticks together. If the mixture is too wet, add a little more flour. Transfer the falafel mixture to a bowl, cover, and refrigerate for at least one hour to help it firm up. Form the falafel balls. After the mixture has chilled, shape it into small balls or patties, about the size of a walnut. Heat olive oil in a frying pan over medium heat, enough to cover the bottom. Fry the falafel balls in batches, turning occasionally until golden brown and crispy on all sides, about 4 to 5 minutes. Alternatively, you can bake them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit 190 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes, flipping halfway through, for a healthier option. Make the tahini sauce. In a small bowl, whisk together tahini, lemon juice, garlic, olive oil, and salt. Gradually add water until the sauce reaches your desired consistency, thick but pourable. Taste and adjust seasoning if needed, adding a pinch of cayenne pepper for heat or extra lemon for tang. Assemble the falafel wrap. Warm the wraps in a dry pan or microwave. Spread a generous amount of tahini sauce in the center of each wrap. Add a few falafel balls, followed by fresh cucumber, tomato, red onion, and lettuce. Drizzle with extra tahini sauce and top with optional garnishes like pickled vegetables or fresh herbs. Serve. Fold the sides of the wrap inwards and roll it up tightly. Serve immediately with extra tahini sauce on the side or a sprinkle of chili flakes for added flavor. Optional side suggestions. Tabbouleh salad, a refreshing side of parsley, bulgur, tomato, and lemon dressing. Hummus, as an additional dip for extra flavor. A falafel wrap with tahini sauce is a delicious and healthy meal, perfect for lunch or dinner. The crispy, golden falafel paired with the creamy tahini sauce and fresh vegetables creates a vibrant and satisfying dish. Plus, it's vegetarian and can easily be made vegan and gluten-free. Hummus and pita with cucumber and olive oil, a simple, healthy dish of smooth hummus served with soft, warm pita bread, fresh cucumber slices, and a drizzle of olive oil for added richness. To prepare hummus and pita with cucumber and olive oil, you'll need the following ingredients. For the hummus. Canned chickpeas, 1 can, 15 ounces slash 425 g, or about 1 and a half cups of cooked chickpeas. Tahini, a quarter cup, sesame paste. Lemon juice, 2 tablespoons, freshly squeezed. Garlic, 1 to 2 cloves, minced. Olive oil, 2 tablespoons, plus more for drizzling. Ground cumin, 1 half teaspoon, optional, for extra flavor. Ground paprika, 1 quarter teaspoon, optional, for a smoky flavor. Salt, to taste. Water, 2 to 4 tablespoons, to achieve the desired smooth consistency. Fresh parsley, for garnish, optional. For the pita. Pita bread, 4 pieces, whole wheat or regular. For the toppings. Cucumber, 1 large, thinly sliced. 
olive oil, a drizzle for finishing. Ground cumin or paprika, a sprinkle for garnish, optional. Optional garnishes. Fresh herbs, parsley or cilantro, chopped, for added freshness. Lemon wedges, for extra zest. Method overview. Make the hummus. If using canned chickpeas, drain and rinse them thoroughly. If using dried chickpeas, cook them until tender. In a food processor or blender, combine the chickpeas, tahini, lemon juice, minced garlic, olive oil, cumin, if using, and salt. Blend until smooth. Gradually add water, one tablespoon at a time, until the hummus reaches a creamy consistency. Taste and adjust seasoning, add more salt or lemon if needed. Transfer to a serving bowl and drizzle with olive oil, then sprinkle with paprika or cumin for a bit of extra flavor. Garnish with chopped parsley, optional. Prepare the pita. Warm the pita bread by wrapping it in foil and placing it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit 175 degrees Celsius for about 5 to 10 minutes, or toast it lightly in a dry pan on the stove. You can also cut the pita into wedges for easier dipping. Assemble the dish. Arrange the warm pita bread alongside the hummus. Serve with thinly sliced cucumber for added crunch and freshness. You can drizzle the cucumber slices with a little olive oil for extra flavor and garnish with a sprinkle of ground cumin or paprika. Serve with lemon wedges on the side for an optional zesty squeeze. Serve. Enjoy the hummus and pita with cucumber and olive oil as a light, flavorful appetizer, snack, or part of a larger Mediterranean spread. Optional side suggestions. Olives, black or green olives work well as a side. Pickled vegetables, such as pickled turnips or cucumbers, for a tangy contrast. Hummus and pita with cucumber and olive oil is a light, refreshing dish that's both healthy and full of flavor. The creamy hummus pairs perfectly with the warm pita and crisp cucumber, while the olive oil adds richness and depth to the overall experience. Gourmet hot dog with sauerkraut and mustard, a juicy sausage served in a soft roll, topped with tangy sauerkraut and mustard, offering a savory, slightly sour contrast to the rich meat. To prepare a gourmet hot dog with sauerkraut and mustard, you'll need the following ingredients. For the hot dog. High-quality hot dogs. Four. Choose gourmet sausages or artisanal sausages for extra flavor, such as bratwurst, beef, or chicken sausages. Hot dog buns, 4, preferably soft, fresh, and slightly toasted, brioche buns work great. Butter, 1 tablespoon, for toasting the buns. For the sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, 1 cup, homemade or store-bought. Apple cider vinegar, 1 tablespoon, adds a bit of tang to the sauerkraut. Caraway seeds, 1 half teaspoon, optional, for a traditional flavor. Salt, to taste. Black pepper, a pinch, optional. Olive oil or butter, 1 teaspoon, for sautéing, optional. For the mustard. Dijon mustard, 2 to 3 tablespoons, for a tangy, slightly spicy kick. Yellow mustard, 1 tablespoon, for a classic, milder flavor. Honey, 1 teaspoon, optional, for a hint of sweetness. Optional gourmet toppings. Chopped onions, 1 small, caramelized or raw, depending on preference. Pickled jalapenos, for a spicy kick. Cheese, shredded cheddar or melted Swiss, optional. Chopped fresh herbs, like parsley or chives, optional, for garnish. Method overview. Prepare the sauerkraut. If using store-bought sauerkraut, heat it up in a small saucepan with a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a pinch of salt, pepper, and caraway seeds. Simmer over low heat for 10 to 15 minutes until heated through and the flavors have melded. For added flavor, sauté the sauerkraut in a little olive oil or butter before adding the vinegar and seasoning. Cook the hot dogs. Grill, pan fry, or boil your gourmet hot dogs according to your preference. Grilling adds a smoky flavor, while pan frying gives the sausages a crispy exterior. If grilling, cook over medium-high heat for about 5 to 7 minutes, turning to ensure even cooking. 
If pan frying, heat a little oil or butter in a skillet over medium heat and cook the sausages until golden brown and heated through, about 5 minutes. Toast the buns. While the hot dogs are cooking, toast the buns lightly. Heat a tablespoon of butter in a skillet or on the grill, then place the buns cut side down until golden brown and slightly crispy. Assemble the hot dog. Place the cooked hot dog in the toasted bun. Spoon a generous amount of warm sauerkraut over the hot dog. Drizzle with a mix of Dijon mustard and yellow mustard, or adjust according to your taste preferences. For a little sweetness, you can add a tiny bit of honey to the mustard mix. Optional Gourmet Toppings Top with caramelized onions, pickled jalapenos, or a sprinkle of fresh herbs for extra flavor and texture. You can also melt a slice of cheese, Swiss or cheddar, on the sausage, before assembling the hot dog for a richer flavor. Serve Serve immediately with a side of fries, chips, or a fresh salad for a complete meal. Optional side suggestions Crispy fries or sweet potato fries, perfect for dipping in mustard or ketchup. Coleslaw, for a creamy, tangy side. Pickles, dill or bread and butter pickles complement the tangy flavors. Gourmet hot dog with sauerkraut and mustard is a simple yet elevated version of the classic hot dog. The combination of savory sausage, tangy sauerkraut, and spicy mustard offers a satisfying balance of flavors, while the buttery, toasted bun adds a touch of luxury. Perfect for a casual yet indulgent meal.